So, Mark, you're um, connected with Bridge North AFC. What's that's, your role? Yeah, that's correct. I'm the chairman of the football club. And um, Christmas is a happy time for all, but uh, not so much down at Bridge North AFC. Just fill us in on what's going on there, chap. Uh, no, you're right. Um, just before Christmas, um, I think it was last Thursday, I went down about half past nine in the morning to find that the um, our club had been burgled and uh, a lot of uh, property had been stolen, which is obviously um, taking you take quite a hit before Christmas. Um, and we just stocked up for yeah. the Christmas rush, and obviously we lost uh, a lot of our stock, so we've had to to buy that twice, which we can ill afford. But uh, so what are, they, what are we talking? Booze and computers, I believe. The, the yeah. car, they took the till. Uh, they took yeah. a, a machine off the wall. Um, there was obviously the contents of the the, the till and the uh, the machine, um, and also a lot of stock from the. Uh, um, the, the, the cupboard behind the bar. Have and you put a value yet on, on what they've taken roughly? I think we've estimated it at about two and a half thousand pounds in total. Yeah. And the club, it's not rolling in money, I suspect these small clubs aren't. No, they? I don't think any football clubs at our sort of level uh, are rolling in money anymore. Um, as I say, we're a group of volunteers on the committee. We, uh, we will put our time and effort in, in our spare time and around our ordinary jobs. To keep the club going, we've survived pretty much on our uh, uh, bar taking. So no, we're not an affluent football club, yeah. and we can ill afford to uh, to lose what we've lost on this occasion. So the images that people will be seeing over this—that's some CCTV from the night. So what what we're after is anyone that recognises anybody, clothing, any information. Yeah, I mean, obviously that we. Fairly certain they're wearing masks from the CCTV, but there is fairly distinctive clothing on some of the shots. We're hopeful that somebody will identify uh, a person who's responsible from that from that clothing. Um, Must have um, hit the club hard, not just financially, but you know, like you say, a lot of people put in a lot of hours on their goodwill, voluntary, and you, you do a lot of work for charity as well, don't you? We've done stuff yeah, in the shops. Yeah, we have an adopted charity in Hope House, and we try to do uh, what we can for them. And also, we're we're open um, for other agencies to use us for raising money for charity we have a function room there um, so yeah it's, it's taken everybody's taken a bit of a toll off this because you know we work hard and it's very dispiriting when you find somebody can just kick your doors open walk in and take all the take all the uh, your property and the finance away because we survive day to day um, because of the way football is these days and it's very difficult so for somebody to walk in and do that's an absolute disgrace and I'd love to get my hands on them.